What's going on everyone? My name is Dylan the Void. I'm going to be giving you guys the track breakdown of my new song, Into the Night, featuring Nate Wants to Battle. It's a really fun song to write and record, and it's by far the most successful thing I've ever done. So I wanted to show you guys the process of it. Right, so here we go. Alright, so first we're going to start with the drums. Um, There's not really like a whole lot to go over. It's basically just like a, like a full-time pop punk beat, and then it switches into halftime for the bridge and the last chorus. And it sounds something like this. And then this is the bridge. If you guys saw my Stuck in Yesterday track breakdown, uh, you guys already saw all this, but right now I am using the get good drums modern and massive pack and i have a few reverse drum hits which just sort of like build into the energy so just yeah, just a reverse symbol hits that sort of lead into sections so i have it from at the first pre-chorus and then then into the bridge yeah then i have the riff guitar which i split up into two the first one goes like then I split it up into just the bass part which I have and then together that sounds like we got the rhythm guitars which uh, come in at the pre-chorus which sounds like Second verse, it goes into the single strum so that the focus is on the guitar. And then in the bridge, it's. It goes into the other guitars, which I have just doing power chords. So they're doing that. They're basically just filling out the chorus until the very end when it builds into uh, the breakdown chorus. I put them on a separate track so that I guess the volume would be a little lower, but I could have just done that with automation, but I don't know. That's just what I decided to do. Moving on to one of my favorite parts of the song, which is the riff guitar, which is the lead guitar doing all the fun stuff. We got that doing this in the pre-chorus. <laughs> fun riff in the chorus. I love that a lot. Then I have this leading into the second verse. Nice again. I got it also coming in on the bridge. Yeah. 
that's it. Then we're moving on to the bass, which comes in on the verse. And it's doing the same thing that this guitar is doing. Then we get it going into the pre-chorus like this. I still have it doing that little bass walk down during the chorus. I do not have it on the bridge because I have other instruments filling in for the bass part. I just have it fade out so that the main focus, so that the energy is still there and it fades down, but it's still not taken away. I got these two cool little sound effects that I put in the song uh, at the breakdown chorus just to sort of match the vibe of the song but also you know just be really cool so i got a fire sound effect and a match sound effect so it sounds like a, like a i got that faded out but there was no there was none of either like combining so it's just like a strike of a match but that that flame wasn't like it wasn't loud enough it's not strong enough so i didn't like it so i added another one to sort of line, line it up. So that together sounds like this. And then that with all the instrumental sounds like. So that's what that is. All right, now we're going to get into some vocals, which is the fun part. First, we're going to do my vocals, then we're going to do Nate's vocals. I've lost my way, trying to find my way back home. It starts low in the verse, in the pre-chorus, and then it jumps up in the chorus. Both in singing tis a season, pretend I'm fine like it was mental treason. Catch me when I fall. So so actually, how this happened was I just matched Nate's harmonies, what he did in his verse, because uh, he sent over his vocals with all the harmonies and everything. And so I just uh, matched what he did, and then I put it in my verse, too. Catch me when I fall. So tell me how I'm supposed to live here and transpire everything around. Cause you might find something in between what's lost and found. And I'm just trying to find my way here. And all this darkness I surround. And I'll do what I can to keep the past from bringing me down. I got two lead vocals because sometimes they overlap, especially in the pre chorus. It, like, I couldn't get that all out in one breath, so I just decided to do it two tracks. We got one harmony. And then we got uh, two doubles uh, panned left and right. The space that I maintain in my brain. We got the last chorus doubles because they kind of overlap right here. How am I supposed to live here and stress by everything around? And that really doesn't change except the end. Right now, baby, watch me as I just fade in. And then we got Nate's vocals, which I freaked out once he sent me all of these. His vocals sound so good, and I had so much fun doing this with him. He sent him over, and uh, here are the lead vocals. I got this voice inside in my head saying burn this to the ground, but I keep my composure and I silence the sound. Cause there's a better life out there, someone I just wanna be. I'm feeling locked inside this cage that I call my then it goes into the pre-chorus with the harmonies. Split it both and singing tis the season. It's and I'm fine like it was mental trees that catch me when I fall. I love the harmonies that he did. It sounds so good. So I just matched that. Catch me when I fall. How I'm supposed to. 
to live here and transpire everything around Cause you just might find something in between what's lost and found and So basically he sent over two lead vocals, uh, harmonies, two doubles, and uh, reverb and delay which I just adjusted to the mix accordingly and then it goes into the the rap part which he's not on and then it goes into the part where we switch off in the bridge remain keep quiet don't let them know let's see how far we can go sit back and enjoy the show keep your heart against the wall yeah that harmony that we that we both end up doing is pr probably one of my favorite vocal parts of the song and it's just me throughout the rest of the song that's all of it right now so i can't get these two working because the plugin that i used i something happened it got corrupted so i can't show you these but i can explain to you what's happening but this is what i have for the rap <laughs> So I got these two cellos doing the same thing. This one is just doing then it goes up. And then during the break it does Yeah. It's just filling in the gaps of that so that it sounds like orchestral and dramatic. Um but yeah, that's the song that's into the night. If you guys want to check it out on Spotify, please make sure to do so. Uh, and hope you like this track breakdown. Let me know what you think. And also on August 26th, if you guys are going to be in Pomona, California, I'm going to be playing at the Glass House. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, tickets are $12. The only way that you can get tickets is through me. So make sure that you DM me on Instagram. Please show up. It's going to be a great time. Hope to see you there. Anyways, that's it for me today. So I hope you liked this video. And I'll see you all later.